everyone, welcome to the vlog. Not Felicia Day, and you know how I know that? Um, I don't really know where I'm going with that, so whatever. Anyways, I'm Amy Okuda, and I am guest hosting the vlog today. And we have a lot to cover, so let's just get to this trio mio thing. Whatever that means. Trio mio? What? That makes no sense. It just rhymes. I don't get it. Whatever. Let's just go, I guess. Number one is Taylor Swift. Yeah, Taylor Swift, I said it, shut the hell up. She's awesome. Anyways, her album Red came out October 22nd and it's so good. There's 16 songs on there and there's like a whole diversity of sounds. Like some are pop, others are kind of country and the other ones are pop. And, and then there's some other songs that are poppy. So yeah, I don't give a damn if you don't like her. She's awesome and I love her. Number two is John Green. He is a young adult writer and a real life nerd. Um, I actually fell in love with him when my sister let me borrow one of his books, The Abundance of Catherines. And since then I've basically read all of his books. I'm reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson right now. And it's really, really good. I really love his books because even though he's a young adult author, he doesn't really dumb things down and makes it easy for you to relate to them without cringing at how stupid you were when you're these characters ages. He writes all these really endearingly honest and vulnerable characters that says that you wouldn't actually really want to say, but he does it without getting too heavy handed and preachy. So yeah. Oh, and he watches The Guild, so he has really good taste. <laughs> he even tweeted me once. <sighs> Almost got a heart attack. <laughs> Number three is the Product Farm. It's this cool website where if you have an idea for something or you know wanted something that no one ever makes, these guys will freaking make it for you. Look, I got this wine sippy cup for my friend Robin Thorson, who's on The Guild. Oh shoot. I was supposed to give this to her for a wrap gift for season six. It's still here. Oh, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Robin, don't watch this. All right, so this week's segment, Felicia and I get our ghost on. You know, like the movie, Ghost. Cause you know, they make pottery. We're gonna make pottery. Oh no, but we don't. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, gross. Anyways, I don't know, what, whatever. Just watch the damn segment. I'm here at the Bitterroot Ceramic Studio with my friend Amy Okuda, and we are gonna go learn how to make a pot. Woo! Are you excited? Kind of, yeah, I've never done it before. Very excited, so excited. Yay, let's go! Okay, Deborah, what are we making today? We're gonna aim for a bowl. First thing is you need clay. Mm -hmm. So I've taken these pieces and they're already wedged and ready to go. What is wedging? What has just happened? Wedging is, is basically <laughs> taking the air out. So we're gonna get the air out of the clay, yes. basically. Yes. We're gonna just put one leg, it's a kind of a rocking motion. Oh okay. okay. And you're not gonna push really hard, but you're just okay. gonna push a little bit. Ooh. And then not turn, make a little turn, <laughs> and then push again. Okay. And the idea is to kind of get, this is oh. an easier way of wedging. Okay. How come you want to kind of moving? make it? Because you're tiny and weak. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. Ooh, I have a little skid mark. Oh my god, mine's so good. Mm. Hey, Deborah, it's come so on. Good. Okay. okay. All right, good. That was Ready? fun. All right, so let's take these balls of clay. Yeah. And we've got a couple of wheels set up for you over there. Bake it. Okay, right? I like this sound. Okay, I don't want this one anymore. I messed it up. You put your hands all over it. We put all of our hands all over it. All right, this one's fine. Let's go. Let's get dirty. Let's get right. dirty. Let's get dirty. Okay. Ready? Just one drop of water and smoosh it around. If you have too much water, your clay is going to just slide right off the wheel. So you want to have just oh. enough to make it stick. So you're just gonna aim Gosh. for the bullseye. I can do this, I'm two, I'm two inches away, I can do it. Yes! Now, get your hands wet uh, and dribble a little bit of water on your pot and you'll feel that, just touch your clay. <laughs> this is weird, I like your face. So the first thing we're gonna do is center, you ready? If, okay. If your clay starts to feel sticky. It's sticky now, Okay, get Wait. your hands wet again. I think ah, my hands, hands are burning. Wet. No, no, put it, you gotta, you gotta make it wetter again. Oh. Lock your elbows into Ooh. your thighs. And keep your thighs nice and tight. Tighten oh. your belly muscles and just keep your keep your shoulders still oh. and your thighs, elbows in your thighs. Oh, it's so much work. Ah, oh, Deborah. Okay, look. This isn't as fun as I thought it was gonna be. Deborah, why am I dancing? <laughs> oh, I did it, look. I'm a natural potter. I mean, I'm not kidding. You're not dancing. I'm <laughs> dancing. I'm trying. I'm oh, not trying goodness. to mess it up. I think I might have to sit there for just a minute and help you get started. Are you serious? I'm, I'm that serious. bad? Well, I have a question. Yes. So now what do the advanced people do? Okay, I need to get back up to your level. Okay, Amy? All right. I'll tell you what, my teacher told me perfection was for the gods. 
So I never aim for perfection. I figure that when that's I, okay. When I have personal problems, can I come talk to you? Because you are so zen. It's like you're making me feel good about everything. I think you put me on the beginner wheel because I do not go as fast as Amy. Brace your elbows. Oh. I'm an expert now. <laughs> Look at my hands. My arms are jiggling. I'm not even No, brace it. Brace it, Amy. <laughs> We're going to open this up with the double thumb method. So okay. you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to go right to the center and make okay. a little depression. OK. And Look at that. This is the start of making the bowl. Oh, so we have to go a lot further than this. Right. Get now, in there. We're gonna go right ah, to okay. okay. We're going to finger it. this now. bowl. All right. Now, again, <laughs> like my, we're mud wrestling, <laughs> Amy. We're mud wrestling. We're Look, mud guys, finger wrestling. This is the one time i thumb wrestle. Oh, thumb wrestle. <laughs> Ew. We're like a, in a country bar. OK. <laughs> I'm just making it tall. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, this is okay. fun. Ready? Ready? Oh. Stop. Stop. Perfect. Oh, look. Yeah. yeah. It's going. Okay, stop. Perfect. Ah. Yours looks really great. Does it? Thanks. Yes, it does. <laughs> she knew, she's just fishing for compliment. I hope she's transparent by now. Okay. The next step we're going to do is we're going to pull the sides. This okay. is going to make our piece a little bit taller. Okay. And then we'll shape them. We're trying to make it bigger That's and taller. Good. Stop. Oh, stop. God. Okay. Deborah, okay. something happened. Just go right here. Just I don't stay, know where to press. Stay right there and let the, let the clay come to you. There you go. Another Deborah t shirt. <laughs> I'm not trying to be bad. I mean, people are like, she's messing it up on purpose. <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Hooray! And there's your first bowl. Let's just back up a bit. There is something seriously wrong with my bowl, conceptually. Truthfully, these are two really good first that? attempts at throwing a pot. Really? Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. So this is, that's what it's called, throwing a pot? Yes. So if someone's like, what'd you do today? I say, I threw, threw a pot. pot. So you're going to uh, let this dry out for a week, and then see, it's very moist right now. Still has a lot of water. It's going to take a while for it to get dried out. Then it goes in the kiln, and when it comes out of the kiln, so once it's pissed, then we'll put glaze on it. And then after it's fired again, then the glaze is on it. Oh, cool. This actually is going to look really interesting once it's glazed. You'll be surprised. You're the sweetest person I've ever met. Might end up at LACMA. Yours will look really... <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I hate you. Well, thank you so much, Deborah. Oh, I you're really so appreciate it. And, it was a uh, pleasure. I can't wait to come by next week and get our bowls. Yes, do. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. So, Felicia is auctioning off her whatever this is, for charity. And I guess since it's for charity, I'll auction mine off too. It's way better. Looks like a bowl and it's green. Yeah, I don't even, um, I'll just put this back down. Which way does it look up? All right, moving on to the question of note. It comes from Lucy who asked me, if you could have your own personal spaceship, what would it be named and what cool features would it have? Great question. Hmm. Hey Lucy, if I had a spaceship, it would be named Lola's Palace and would be a luxury liner for space. Lola's my baby and she would be my first mate. There would be treat dispensers found on every deck. The ship would come equipped with robots that would walk her whenever she wanted and any time a hostile alien race attacked, the ship's defenses would project a massive image of her cuteness that would pacify all the bad guys causing them to fall to their knees and rub her little tummy in worship. Thanks for writing, blah, blah, blah. Amy. Okay, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to Geek and Sundry and watch the guild. Watch the guild and happy Thanksgiving to you! Okay, am I done? Can I go? I'm leaving. Come on, Lola. Taking a sign too.